Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel UG English. Today we are going to discuss the syllabus pattern, material and strategies of preparation of JL and DL examination. As you all know, Government of Telangana has issued a notification for filling up the vacancies of JLs. Uh, in TSPSC notification, we have 153 vacancies for JL English and uh, the applications for this will be starting from 16th of this month and uh, the last date for this application is 6th of January. Uh, today itself the government, the TSPC has postponed it for another four days. So the last date will be from 10th of January. So before we begin, I just want to give my brief description. So my name is Keshav Reddy. I'm working as a lecturer in English. A tribal Welfare Residential Degree College, Maripeda. Uh, this is my blog, ugenglish.in and uh, I usually update the syllabus and material for uh, UG students as well as PG, NET and SET exam aspirants. I received uh, award, district level best teacher award and state level appreciations as textbook author. I have uh, 14 years of experience and I got straight first rank in DSE 2008 as SGT and uh, even I got the straight first rank in TSPSC Gurukula JL examination in 2018 and second place in DL examination in MZ1 and presently working as a lecturer in English at Maripada Degree College. I My hobbies are blogging so this is my brief description and uh, coming to the JL notification as you all know there are 153 vacancies in English subject and you can go through the link I will share the link of this notification in the description box and uh, and coming to the vacancies breakup in MZ1 we have 84 vacancies and MZ2 we have 69 vacancies and we will quickly go to the syllabus overview and this is the syllabus for paper one and, and you all know uh, paper one has 150 marks and paper two is for 300 marks and uh, this is the added advantage to all the aspirants of English literature and uh, the one who loves literature because for literature and the language aspirants so the weightage is more that is two marks for each question whereas coming to the paper one it is only one mark it is an added advantage to the literary lovers. So, uh, for coming to the syllabus of the paper one, it is a uh, uh, common syllabus for all the group one, group two, group three, group four, and other JLDL examinations. This is a fixed pattern for all the exams of TSPSC. And uh, I only suggest you to go through the standard books, that is, the Telangana Telugu Academy books. The Telugu Academy books are the best for all these. 15 topics I mean uh, some of one or two maybe ex exceptions like the current affairs uh, that we can go to uh, Shine India magazine or any other magazine we or uh, RCDD magazine or we can uh, either purchase um, this Vision IAS or these local uh, Telangana local uh, material of current affairs that will cover the first and second topics and for general science I strongly suggest go through the uh, Prasanna Hare Krishna's notebook that is general science for competitive examinations and for disaster management and environmental issues there is a book by Telugu Academy written by Dr. Mohan Kandara and it's a very useful book and for economic and social development of India and Telangana I strongly suggest you to go through the socio-economic survey of India and Telangana go to a website and download the socio-economic surveys that will give you the overall idea of the government statistics complete statistics the programs and everything so that is a suggestible one and coming to the sixth and seventh uh, sixth one that is physical and social economic geography of india we can go to the go through the telugu academy books and uh, even for the seventh point it will be applicable and for the eighth point economic social economic and political cultural history of uh, and uh, national movement of india you can go through the internet second year textbooks or 
తెలంగాణ ఉద్యమ చరిత్ర బుక్ బై తెలుగు అకాడమీ దట్ విల్ కవర్ ద ఎయిత్ అండ్ నైన్త్ పాయింట్ ఆల్సో అండ్ కమింగ్ టు ద టెన్త్ ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ దేర్ ఈజ్ ఏ మోనోగ్రాఫ్ రిటర్న్ బై తెలుగు అకాడమీ దట్ విల్ సఫైస్ అవర్ నీడ్ దట్ విల్ నీడ్స్ ఇస్ అన్ ఆఫ్ అవర్స్ అండ్ కమింగ్ టు ద సోషల్ ఎక్స్క్లూషన్ ఆల్సో దేర్ ఈజ్ ఎ బుక్ బై తెలుగు అకాడమీ సో యూ కెన్ పర్చేస్ ఆల్ దీస్ బుక్స్ కాస్ట్ అరౌండ్ సెవెంటీ టు ఎయిటీ రూపీస్ ఐ మీన్ ద ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ సోషల్ ఎక్స్క్లూషన్ అండ్ సొసైటీ కల్చర్ అండ్ హెరిటేజ్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ దిస్ విల్ కాస్ట్ ఎ లిటిల్ బిట్ మోర్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ట్వెల్త్ వన్ బుక్ ద లిటరేచర్ ఆఫ్ లిటరీ హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ లిటరీ అండ్ హెరి కల్చరల్ సోషియో ఎవ్రీథింగ్ విల్ బి కవర్డ్ ఇన్ దట్ బుక్ అండ్ ద పాలసీస్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ యూ కెన్ బై ఎనీ బుక్ ఇన్ ద మార్కెట్ దట్ ఈస్ అ ప్రైవేట్ పబ్లిషర్ అండ్ ఫర్ లాజికల్ రీజనింగ్ అండ్ డాట్ ఇంటర్ప్రిటేషన్ యూ కెన్ పర్చేస్ ద ఆర్ఎస్ అగర్వాల్స్ బుక్ విచ్ ఈస్ ద బెస్ట్ వన్ ఎస్ చాన్ సిరీస్ ఆర్ఎస్ అగర్వాల్స్ బుక్ అండ్ ఫర్ ద బేసిక్ ఇంగ్లీష్ యూ కెన్ పర్చేస్ రెన్ అండ్ మోడిన్ బుక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ ద స్టడీ సో వీ హ్యావ్ ప్లెంటీ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ ఈజ్ మోర్ దెన్ అన్ ఆఫ్ టు గో త్రూ ఆల్ దీ సిలబస్ సో ఐ సజెస్ట్ యూ టు మోస్ట్లీ టు బై తెలుగు అకాడమిక్ బుక్స్ సో బికాస్ ద స్టాండర్డ్ ఎగ్జిస్ ద స్టాండర్డ్ వన్ బికాస్ ద పేపర్ సెటర్ ఈవెన్ ద వన్ హూ ప్రిపేర్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ లుక్స్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ బుక్ సో దట్స్ వై ఐ సజెస్ట్ యూ టు ప్లీజ్ గో త్రూ ద తెలుగు అకాడమిక్ బుక్స్ అండ్ కమింగ్ టు ద part 2 i mean paper 2 this is about english subject and uh, this is our content paper in english content we can divide this complete syllabus into three parts one is history of english literature this is what your uh, the screen is available now you can see and the second part is about the writers and the text a prescribed text so almost 20 writers are there and 24 texts this is the second part and the final part will be english language teaching elt part so these three parts are very important and uh, almost for 150 marks so we can expect almost 50 questions from each of these sections and sometimes uh, even more from history of english literature and texts and uh, from elt uh, we can expect around 40 questions because we have another part like literary comprehension so then from this section they may ask you uh, they may they may give you 10 questions 10 to 15 marks for this one so except this each section i hope we'll get 50 questions even in the jail 2019 that is conducted by tspsc they followed the same pattern but in tspsc examination jail for gurukula exam we have a separate paper for elt but in regular day jail dl examinations we don't have this elt paper uh, separately so it is included in the paper 2 coming to the syllabus um, of paper 2 i want to just um, give you some brief idea of this syllabus so let us begin with the last point of this section because this is very important uh, literary journals poetry fiction prose and drama and uh, the intention of the maybe from they will ask you questions from the beginning of these genres that is from origins and development of this four genres poetry fiction prose and drama so we may expect a question even from the old english period because the syllabus they have mentioned it is from renaissance or reformation or we can call it as elizabethan's age but we even get questions from earlier ages that is from chaucer or from neo classical age sorry we are not neo classical or from <coughs> old english periods okay so now <coughs> coming to the renaissance and reformation uh, it is very important and crucial period of english literature that is a uh, main genre of drama by elizabethan writers and uh, one of the important authors of metaphysical poetry is john dun and this is very very interesting and important uh, uh, moment in english literature and coming to neo classicism classicism this is also very important and puritanism restoration of the monarchy and uh, these all are very important and uh, uh, especially the romanticism victorian and modern and postmodernism are more uh, 
uh, important topics and all these uh, isms. So Romanticism, Victorian, Modern and Postmodern plays a crucial role. And apart from the history of English literature, we have very, very important topic called literary criticism. So most of the English aspirants are afraid of criticism. But the one who is able to understand the criticism of English literature can do well in examination. Because uh, we have uh, uh, in syllabus like uh, from Philip Sidney to Matthew Arnold, uh, they are not going to stress you, the, they are not going to ask questions from maybe um, Plato, Aristotle and all, the ancient literature criticism from Philip Sidney, that is from Renaissance period and to the Matthew Arnold. In this, they are going to touch uh, the, all the schools of literary criticism, such as new criticism, which uh, focuses on the text, the, the analytics, analysis of the text only, and formalism, and the Russian formalism especially, and uh, archetypal, those are some symbols and arch archetypes. Archetypes means the recurrent themes of the literature, and historicism, based on the historical and uh, all these uh, as, uh, historical view of the literature, literary analysis and the psychoanalytical based on Sigmund Freud and other uh, ones and the reader response criticism means the reader is the creator of the text. It's a concept of reader response criticism and uh, there is also an important concept like structuralism because these um, structuralists believe that st structure is very important for a literary text and uh, post-structuralists, they believe that this, the structure and the sign, so signs are not uh, <clears throat> our signs are always arbitrary they are not fixed so that's why this post structure is argued that uh, one cannot derive from one meaning from one symbol or one sign so this post structuralism plays a crucial role in uh, literary criticism and a uh, very important aspect of criticism is one of the aspects is uh, feminism uh, based on the gender that is issues of the women and uh, post colonialism is a uh, importance of or the Results of the colonization of countries such as India or other Australia, other countries and the European country, oh, sorry, African countries, and the effect of English people on these, the ruling of English on the country, on these countries. And diasporic is a writers, uh, one who moved from India to, or maybe not only India, from one country to other country and settled there, and they, how they import, uh, how they influence the writings so all these are very important race gender and caste also one of the important as of these aspects of this criticism so uh, in this also we can divide this into two the three areas one is uh, origin of the literature and second one is history of literature i mean the continuation of this origin we can elaborate this into a history of english literature and then the third part is the criticism in this criticism, we have different various schools, structuralism, post-structuralism, all these very, very importantly. So we have to go through all these uh, notes and um, especially we have many books in the market, but all those will not um, enough for one book is not enough for to go through the examination or to clear the examination. Um, like Pramod K. Naya's book is there, literary criticism or from Plato to present Hudson's book is there. And there are many books in market. So you can buy these books for literary criticism. And coming to the top second topic, we have 24 texts from Charles, Christopher Marlowe to Derek Walcott from the um, <coughs> Elizabethan's age to and for the modern age till the modern age. It covers uh, the post-colonial writers, the Canadian writers, African writers, and even some of the Indian writers, Mulk Rajan, Kamala Das, and Girish Karnad. Salman Razi. So this is a very uh, important uh, text. Uh, there's a classical text are included in uh, our syllabus. So I strongly suggest you to go through the analysis of these texts. Not one is one analysis is not enough for the for your study. So I suggest you to go through uh, various websites like uh, Wikipedia, Cliff Notes, Spark Notes, Grade Saver and literary charts and there are several other uh, websites and that can provide you a good analysis of these texts. So these texts are very uh, important and you may get 50 to 60 questions from the text 
uh, approximately three questions or four questions from each text sometimes one or two questions one or two or text may be ignored or they will give you less priority from some text may have more pro import some texts are more important and they will give you more questions from those texts coming to the dr foster's it's a story of a, a scholar who sold his soul to devils that is a mephistopheles and uh, for the for the pleasure of 24 years so it's a very interesting drama and uh, i suggest you to go it by act by act and scene by scene and make notes of this and uh, the second interesting and important uh, text is hamlet uh, one of the most critical acclaimed dramas in indian uh, in english literature that is hamlet and the dilemma of the prince hamlet is very important here and uh, this is also very important and uh, please make a note of all the important scenes and important uh, dialogues or important characters important themes whatever it is so you please go through it and uh, milton's paradise lost book one only book one is given out of uh, 10 books only first book is given the first book is um, as a beginning i mean it's a muse invoke how the milton has invoked the muse and how he started the paradise lost so that is the background of the paradise lost is discussed in the first book of this john milton's and uh, i suggest you to please go through the line by line and make a, a note of figures of speech important vocabulary and uh, the whatever the uh, allusions made in this allusions means the connections to the previous text everything is very important just make a note of all these from the text and i suggest you to please go through the original text of paradise lost i mean the complete lines and uh, it's coming to the wordsworth it's a, a romantic writer and immortality word and tintinabi both are uh, almost autobiographical and uh, his experiences with the nature so these are these two poems we can go through the line by line study and uh, coming to the Browning's, My Last Duchess and Andrea Del Sarto, uh, both are dramatic monologues and uh, very important. And uh, we have to go through line by line. So this is very important. If you don't read the line by line, so you cannot answer the questions come in examination. So the next important novel is uh, Thomas Hardy's uh, Tess. Tess. Sometimes uh, these are simple questions may be asked from... Um, text so that often we don't able to answer for example uh, from out of all these texts they, they may ask you to answer the year of publication so we read everything and we completely we drown into the novel and we learn every character every theme and every act and every scene by by heart but we forget sometimes we forget the year of publication or the subtitle of the book so you have to very keen on identifying all these aspects and make a note of all the important points of one novel so coming to the test is uh, thomas hardy's most acclaimed novel so very important novel it's a, the subtitle of this is a pure woman the study of uh, the psychological moral and everything so very interesting novel so go through it and uh, the next one is The Wasteland. The Wasteland is a modern text uh, published in 1922 by Eliot. And uh, he, after the publication of this, he received a Nobel Prize. St. John is a novel written by George Bernard Shaw. And uh, after the publication of St. John, uh, George Bernard Shaw received Nobel Prize. And uh, Virginia Woolf. Uh, one of the famous essays written by George Virginia Woolf is A Room of One's Own. It talks about the financial freedom of women to write, to become a um, poet or a writer. So she strongly argues as five, a, a room should be a private room for her that is a one's own room and a $500 per annum is very important for a lady to become a writer. And uh, the William Golding's novel, Lord of the Flies, is very, very important novel. And uh, this is um, this is very interesting novel because Golding uh, approached several 
publishers with his manuscripts but none of the authors none of the publishers sorry none of the publishers has taken up this project to they are ready to publish this book finally he success he succeeded in publishing this book and later he this book received positive responses and it became one of the important books of the english literature so it was rejected by many publishers initially so this is very interesting novel and uh, uh, the next one is walt whitman's two poems uh, one is lilax lost in dooryard bloomed and uh, crossing crossing brooklyn ferry the first one is an elegy written on the death of abraham lincoln the president um, uh, arthur miller arthur miller's death of salesman is very interesting novel interesting sort of drama interesting drama written by arthur miller in this drama uh it talk it talks about a common man or um, a common man of america american dream so a common man's dream in america so how a american works and uh, uh, <coughs> worries for his success so very uh, interesting novel and tony morrison's is a slavery based on the beloved is based on slavery theme of slavery and how slavery haunts the lives of slaves the system of slavery so very interesting novel and mulkra janan's untouchable is influenced by gandhi ji's and uh, is in, is influenced by the life of untouchables and uh, how they suffer a lot in the society so this was a wonderful book and uh, you have to go through the number of number of 101 uh, please go through two or three analysis like as i as i said earlier like a spark cliff and or great saver so please go through this and kamala das two poems are uh, mostly autobiographical one is an introduction and the second one is an old playhouse these both are uh, are autobiographical poems and uh, the next one is a girish karnad's hayavadana this is one of the famous modern drama in english literature uh, and uh, this is a very critical and uh, based on thomas mann's play that is transposed heads a german play and uh, this is very very interesting of a psychological moral dilemma of the characters and you all know the salman rush this midnight children is a very famous one the story of 1001 children who born on the same day of the birth of india that is on 15th of august of 1947 and chinha um, achi based things fall apart is a post colonial novel the effect of the colonial colonialism on the villages in africa and uh, the next novel is about uh, edible uh, women is about um, the women the women and gender issues and uh, how women are unable to take decisions in their life so it's very interesting novel and derek walker's dream on monkey mountain is also one of the post colonial important writers and he is a very important book in Uh, Derek Walcott's and uh, all these are very in, uh, interesting books and I strongly suggest you to go through the analysis and make notes of all these books and coming to the literature uh, English language teaching uh, one book is not enough for this and I strongly suggest you to go through the B.Ed syllabus that is uh, mentioned for B.Ed examinations so B.Ed English language lit- uh, teaching. and in that book you may uh, get the syllabus i mean the history of english in india and uh, the methods and approaches as well as the teaching of language skill that is lsrw and teaching of grammar teaching of vocabulary and all other important aspects so and finally the testing and evaluation of english lang- english language and literature and uh, the one more interesting topic an important topic is phonetics phonetics and phonology so all these are very important uh, in the final section of this uh, paper 2 and we have another uh, concept like uh, literary comprehension so here uh, the examiner may give you excerpts from the poetry and prose followed by questions so mcqs so this is the syllabus for our um, english literature and i will try to provide the material and uh, in my blog i will update the syllabus in blog and the material for that Uh, and uh, we will look into some important strategies now how to prepare for the examination 
So as we all discussed now, the paper one is very crucial and many aspirants of group examinations, group one and group two will also compete in the same examination and each question carries you one mark in paper one. So this is uh, uh, one of the important or best relief for us. So because the English, purely English aspirants can only uh, concentrate on paper two. So of course, I'm not telling you to don't concentrate on paper one, but the paper two is crucial for us. So whereas paper one can, uh, we will maybe easy for the group aspirants, but uh, don't think of it now because we have uh, plenty of time, six months of time. So anyone can master in the paper one. So in these six months, but it will give you uh, more weightage for the group aspirants because they have they may, they may be preparing for more than a year, more than a, one or two years. So it is a fetching for them. But even though uh, paper two has two marks, so it is a big fetching for the literary aspirants, literature lovers. So coming to the paper one, I already told you to follow the Telugu Academy books and uh, current affairs is only enough. So that is a one year of current affairs is enough for us to go through it uh, from the last, maybe last from August, maybe from last July to uh, from the next July, I mean 23 July. And coming to the paper two, uh, please purchase the standard books. I suggest you to please go through the William J. Long book and uh, purchase M.H. Abrams, literary of literary terms or any set or net notes. Maybe the Harihant book is the best one. Or you can also purchase the R.D. Trivedi's books, David Dutch's, and there are many, several, uh, many publishers are there in the market. But I suggest you to go through only these three books. The initial, initially, these two books are very important uh, for uh, to study the literature, to understand the history of English literature. And uh, I also suggest you to please don't run after the big banks because please concentrate on the basics. Please concentrate on the concepts first and then go to the big bank or the practice sessions next. And uh, I also suggest you to make notes from various sources. So no book is enough for our needs. No book will give you the entire syllabus or entire uh, material for you. So that's why I suggest you to we go visit the various websites and make notes in your notebooks or the material you have. And uh, I also suggest you to make connections to the history, to the movies or the characters or dialogues in day to day life. Because this is very important um, when it comes to uh, history, literature is cannot be cannot be divided from the history because the historical events of the age will definitely represent in the literature. So that's why I said, for example, Norman conquest is there. It influenced the English language and it, it brought the French language into the, the influence of French language is more on the English language. So if you study that, you can understand the difference. And uh, for example, uh, the Accession of Queen Elizabeth in 1837 is very important in English literature because it, it marked the beginning of the Elizabethan era and it marked the beginning of the development of drama in English literature. So that's why history is also very important and uh, whenever you study um, literary quotations or literary um, characters and all, please try to link that into uh, movies try to remember memorize them in the form of movies and uh, try to memorize them try to try understand them as uh, characters of movies try to character them uh, understand them as the dialogues of the movies so this is very important and uh, this is called 360 degrees of view view of english literature that means the question paper depth has increased nowadays uh, the examiner is concentrating uh, to make the question paper as tough as possible and they are giving you time killing questions and analysis based questions and sometimes they are asking four questions in one bit either a or b or a and b b or c c or d like that they are making the question even complex for us 
So I suggest you to please go through the 360 degrees of view of English literature that is uh, I will take a separate uh, video I will record a separate video for what is 360 degrees view of English paper and English literature. Uh, I hope that will that video will uh, clear all your doubts and um, that is nothing simply in simple terms I want to tell you is please have a comprehensive view of English literature. That means you have to study the name of the author, name of the publisher and year of publication and the famous dialogues of it, famous characters of it and famous quotations of this and uh, the important uh, scene wise, act wise, incidents of that and everything, everything is important, figures of speech in it. So like this you have to memorize and, and sometimes the uh, examiner may ask you to find out the uh, chronology of the works of the particular author also. So that's why it's very important to have a 360 degrees view of English literature. And I have already covered this point like uh, please go through the wiki, cliff notes, park, grade 7 and literary charts. And uh, uh, this line maybe uh, looks like contradictory because I earlier I said that uh, no books is suffice, one book is not enough for our needs. But even though instead of concentrating on 10 materials, read the one material 10 times. It's very important because whatever you need, uh, you read from various sources, whatever you go through the new books can be recorded in the notes you have. So whatever the notes you have, so it must be updated with the additional information. Instead of looking for uh, reading uh, different, different materials, uh, you can read the one material and include whatever you read newly that in the existing material. So I strongly suggest this to follow. And finally, I just want to tell you, uh, I started a blog and a YouTube channel for this and WhatsApp group is also there available. I My main motto is to share the knowledge, to give guidance to the jail aspirants. Uh, here, uh, uh, I'm not expecting anything from you. Just I want to give you some suggestions and some material. And uh, I also record the materials, uh, mean, I mean, complete lessons of all the uh, syllabus that is literature. And I will, I will post them in my YouTube channel. You can follow the YouTube channel also. And uh, if necessary, I will also provide material within a, within a very short time, not more than a month. I will also provide material for you with a nominal cost, just only with the cost of uh, printing. I am trying to bring out that material in consolidated form now. So this is uh, a short video regarding the lit <coughs> literature and uh, how to prepare for JL DL examination. So thanks for watching. And uh, finally, I want to just tell you one only one or two points to conclude. So don't depend on um, the coaching centers or whatever it is for more. So there is a plenty of material available in the uh, YouTube. So please go through the videos and please go through the websites and make own notes. And uh, please don't run after the bid banks. And uh, please follow one or two materials, whatever the standard material are uh, prepared by an expert also, it's available, available in the market or any coaching center. But please update the material. Because in examination, I, I earlier I stressed on this point, that is the question paper pattern has changed. They are making the questions very difficult. So in examination, what happens? Uh, the one who studies in depth, the one who can analyze from several aspects, from several points only can crack the examination because uh, everyone can do the 60% or 70%, but the number of posts are very less. We have more time for examination. So the competition is very high. There are more number of aspirants now for examination. So the one who can attend, uh, attempt the critical questions only can get the job. So that's why I am strongly suggesting you to please visit various sources. Please make notes. Otherwise, uh, from one text or one material or one notes, you cannot achieve the, anything. So this is my final suggestion. And uh, be, a, uh, be confident in your preparation and be consistent. So regular time should be alerted for preparation. And uh, it must be 
num not based on number of hours you read but how effectively you read is very important and continuous study is very important i wish you all the best and uh, we will be uh, keeping touch through my the, through my youtube channel uh, just you can search at the rate of ug english in youtube channel and you can subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching this video